So that was an insane series of events right there. We had a kudu bull, bull come in. Couldn't quite get a shot at him before he walked off. And Paul... Uh, now the baboons are squawking at us. But we had a... Y'all ready? We had that Impala come out, which I shot. He ducked the arrow. They're, they're notorious for ducking the string. I had him at 32 yards. The left and right was perfect but he ducked it quite a bit and I was holding just a touch low so he was there like the black buck me shooting my black buck he ducked super hard um, everything the shot looked good for the most part just a touch high and he was bleeding as he was running out So we continued on tracking. I didn't do a whole lot of filming after this because I was pretty upset about the fact that you know I made a I made the best shot that I possibly could and the Impala ducked me and there's not anything that I can do about that. If you go back and watch in the slow motion footage, I was aiming um, basically right there in the shoulder and that Impala ducks every bit of six to eight inches before the arrow even gets to him. And hit him high, single lung, he ran a long long ways. Um, I don't know how many thousands of yards we tracked him, but we put the tracking dog on him. Big John was out there. Uh, Christopher was out there. Hein. Um, we had like six or seven people plus the dog on the trail trying to find this Impala, and he just ran and ran and ran and ran. And that's just a testament to how tough these African animals are. Super frustrating that I had to leave an animal, um, or had to lose an animal, I mean. Um, but that's that's part of bow hunting. Um, even at 32 yards or whatever it was, 36 yards, he ducked my arrow, and we didn't end up finding this Impala, unfortunately. Um, however, fortunately, I got a second chance at a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ram. Actually, two different beautiful rams. Um, one of which uh, we saw come in, and Dempsey immediately was like, Brad, get your bow. So I grabbed my bow. I had I hadn't even seen the animal yet. I hadn't even seen what what it was that Dempsey wanted me to shoot. But this ram comes strolling in with two others, and this ram that I ended up shooting that you guys are fixing to see was an ancient, ancient old ram, very worn down, brushed off tips, beautiful, um, heavy mass, lifting at the bases. Um, everything was just gorgeous about him. He wasn't nearly as tall. He wouldn't score near as well as the first Impala that I shot but that didn't matter to me. This ram was extremely old and he had a lot of character. And another thing, um, another deciding factor for me to shoot this um, older ram is because he had broken a leg at, about a year ago and somehow, um, amazingly enough, had not been hunted down by leopards or by hyenas or lions. Um, but this ram, you guys will see in the video, broke his leg and 
Uh, it, whenever it broke, the bone punctured through the skin and then it calloused over. And this ram was just walking on his ankle, basically. Um, very, in very bad shape. This ram was extremely skinny. Uh, his body, uh, his body was just in horrible, hor horrible condition. And so um, I felt like as a hunter, as a conservationist, that it was my job to be there to, to end it, uh, to end the suffering because he was extremely skinny and the, the tooth wear on the SRAM was also um, unreal. It was amazing that he was still alive, but check this footage out guys and, and enjoy it. very skinny and drawn up and just was in bad shape. He'd either been eaten by a hyena or something else would have tracked him down. I like keep starving so we just did the best that we could right there and it looks like I put a perfect hard shot on him. We did the best thing we could for him. He's in super rough shape. As soon as I saw him I got sick to my stomach. He's just, he's so skinny. But he didn't run but probably 70 yards or so. Down here, so. Yeah, he's super awesome. Yeah, heavy on the bases reminds you of your mom's rap. Yeah, look how good shot. Much man. massive, thank you. <laughs> he is skinny. Yeah, look at that. Now drawn up and really, really is. skinny. This is the leg that had the problem here. See there? Oh, yeah. So oh. that's obviously a bone that broke. Wow. One that calloused up there, but obviously the way he was walking, his ankle couldn't go straight, but that, that leg is completely completely busted. That's horrific. Mm. Yeah, oh, he's in super look bad at, shape. Look at that. That's, wow. that's bone through the skin. Yeah. They don't even, they don't even look close to the same. <laughs> it's so bad. You wonder how he was walking on that. Yeah, I actually look, have no idea. Look how he was walking on the bottom of it. And he's, this is an old injury. I mean, look at how long he's... Yeah, it's worn down. It's ridiculous how long he survived, actually. Wow. I'm surprised something didn't catch up with him. Yep. But I mean, this is the easiest way. I mean, look, look at his stomach there. Mm hmm. Super drawn up, skinny. Yeah. I can't believe that bone was sticking through the skin and then it calloused over and healed. But he's still, he's just an ancient ram. His tips are all worn down. He's in very, very bad shape. So we did him a service and just put him out. Uh, hate to see animals get injured and somehow survive and they get to the end of their life and it's just management. Got to do it. Got to do it. What's best for them? I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but you see the top of his spine coming all the way back. Two hip bones here. He's just very, very drawn up. Uh, I know I showed you his leg a while ago, but he's just a super old ram in really rough shape. You have any idea of how he might have broken it? 
sure. Yeah, there's a number of no number of possibilities, but uh, that's an old injury. Is hoofed. It really started growing the way he was walking. Uh, but that was it was a serious injury. That leg yeah. is the, the bone was through the skin. You can see it back here. I showed you guys a while ago, but he's super old. You can tell by looking at his bases right here, and also at his tips, how worn down they are. He's just a, a super old, sick little ram that needed to go, and uh, I was happy to do it. But uh, we're getting into prime time now, so we're gonna hop back in the hide. And uh, if you guys wanna wanna come shoot some impala like this, but bigger, and you, you may get the opportunity to injure one, but there's some uh, really, really, really nice animals out here, and, and you can do that with Bailey Simple Safaris. All the information will be down in the description below. But uh, it was a good one to take out. He needed to go, and I, as soon as I saw him, I felt sick to my stomach, so I was glad to, to be able to put him down and give him a quick and clean death because if it wouldn't have been for us, it would have been hyena or leopard or something else and that's a gruesome way to go and Dempsey said it best, he said that's why hunters are here, to take care of animals like this and all the meat will be used, we'll have a great mount and of course lots of memories so with that being said we're gonna we're gonna hop back in the hide and get a see what happens during prime time.